Hey guys, uh, it's Trevor from MoMoney247.com. How are you all doing today? Hey, um, one thing I wanted to cover was uh, if you're getting enough hits on your website or blog. Uh, do you even know if you're getting enough hits? Or you, do you know if you're getting any? I mean, <laughs> uh, I know when I first started uh, making my own websites and stuff, I struggled with even figuring out, you know, uh, how many people were visiting my site each day or any uh, you know way back when you used to like get a hit counter and you put it at the bottom of your page and every time the problem with that was every time you refreshed your page or visited your own website it would count you and uh, so it was always like wow I refreshed it 20 times oh I got 20 views but anyways um, nowadays there's uh, lots of uh, ways you can you know get that information um, one way to see if you're creating enough uh, content online is you know just to see how many people visit your website each day uh, if you're getting lots of hits uh, that equals the potential for lots of clicks on ads and that's what we want uh, there are many ways of going about this uh, but if you're already using Google AdSense then you should look into Google Analytics um, all you have to do uh, is place the small code that they give you on each of your websites. Uh, you can put it on all of the pages and just about everything you want to track. So you have to put it on everything, but I do because I'm like paranoid about that stuff. Anyways, uh, this this code or whatever it actually it gathers very basic information about the person that's on your on your page. Uh, it'll actually track them in real time, which is like kind of cool. Uh, it tells you like what country they're from. Uh, here in the U.S., it'll actually tell you like what state they're in. Um, it'll tell you what they're looking at, what content. Um, it tells you how long they were on the website. It'll give you an average of everybody that has visited your site, how long they're actually on your site. Um, this could be used in very, a lot of different ways. Um, you can see what is or isn't working on your website or blog. Uh, you can see what is the most, what's generating you the most traffic. Uh, perhaps you could, you know, you see that one blog or one page on your website is getting you a ton of traffic. Well, you might blog or make another page that's similar to that or references that same topic because that's obviously some kind of niche or something that somebody's like looking into or a lot of people um, this will ensure that you're keeping people interested in your site uh, that you're going the right direction and that you're getting that potential income um, those of you who think you might not need this information you're really missing out uh, even if you're getting thousands of hits per, hits a day and you know you're getting all these hits uh, you need to see what's going on in the background um, this is gonna help you maximize your profits so say for instance uh, you've got a website that's about you know cats <laughs> or something I don't know anyways uh, and you know you're you're talking about all this one type of cat you know Siamese cats well people are actually interested in the calico cats and so you only have a couple of you know blogs or whatever about calico cats and those calico cats are actually getting all your page hits and you don't even realize that the Siamese cats people don't care and so you're getting next to nothing on those so why would you waste your time talking more and more about Siamese cats when obviously Calico Cats is where it's at? Not really saying that. I have a Siamese cat. I like her. Anyways, um, this is about having the right tools in your toolbox and why I feel like what I just handed you guys is a very important tool. This is like, it goes right next to the hammer. Okay, read it. Um, use the data from it. Uh, this step is uh, something that I personally use every day. So I hope this helps. Uh, good luck, everybody, and uh, best of wishes to you all.
I guess. 